Hello everybody and welcome back to Excel Hacks, a uh, weekly series where I bring you tips and tricks around Excel. Uh, we're going to do a couple of changes to the style of the format of the videos. We were doing free hacks every week. Um, I'm going to change that to just one hack that's a little bit more advanced. So just a super hack. If you've been watching the previous videos then you know what a super hack is. Um, but basically they're just a little bit more advanced and they're a little bit more helpful. Um, I've gone through most of the kind of quick win hacks that, we, that we've got. We've done, what, about 36 hacks so far and most of them have been pretty simple um, over the mini hacks as they've been called. So now we're just going to do one per week. Uh, you'll also notice that I've turned my webcam off. Um, it, it's starting to get a little bit annoying having to edit it every time and I'm sure you guys would much rather see more of a Excel spreadsheet than my face, which probably I uh, should should say something about my face. But anyway, let's get going. So first super hack uh, of the week is custom formats from a list. So um, it's quite easy to do conditional formatting in Excel, uh, but it can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you want to do lots of different um, formats based off of lots of different things. So here I have quite a few different f fruit and vegetables. Um, and in my spreadsheet, I want to be able to type these in as such, so strawberry. And I want it to format it in the way that matches my thing on here. So this is going to be really useful because it means we can just add extra things in here. So let's say uh, raspberry, uh, and we make that a beautiful pink. Do they not have a pink in here? That seems silly. Do I not even have red? Is it because I'm using some stupid theme? Oh, let's just go on here and go to pink. There we go. Raspberry. Uh, and then let's give it a colour. And then when we go into here and we type in raspberry. And it's going to colour it in for us based on whatever the format is over here. If we change the colour of this one, so let's say, oh, that pink's actually a little bit crazy. Uh, let's go for more of. I can't believe I don't have any reds in this thing. What is going on? Oh. Anyway, let's go for this red. There we go. And we come back over here and then we just change something and it will fill that in. Um, so, onto the code. Very simple. I'm going to just leave it here so you guys can leave it paused and copy it if you want. Uh, so all it does is it uses the worksheet change uh, and then the this is a event that you can do from clicking on the worksheet up here and then clicking on the change in here and it'll give you this event as a sub in here. And we just fill it in. First of all, I'm going to put a with in there just so because I'm going to be working with the format sheet quite a bit. So it just makes it a little bit simpler. I can just put dot cells rather than having to type that out every time. I'm going to make myself a counter which is going to be used to count through the formats on this sheet. Uh, and then we're going to do a enhanced for loop that cycles through all of the cells in our target range. So it's just going to go through everything that has been changed. Uh, and you don't have to you set it to just this but I find that this is a little bit better because Generally, you're only going to be checking for the format changes when you change a cell, uh, and just means it's going to run a little bit faster. Now, you run through them, it then does another loop, so it looks through this formats page until it finds either the end of it or the the one that matches the value of the one in here. Now, I've put in this UK bit. This just means that I don't have to match the case that I've put in here. So you'll notice that I put in Raspberry with a capital R, but in here I put it with a lower R. It's still going to recognize it and it's still going to apply the format. If you don't want that to happen, then just get rid of these U cases. Uh, so that loops through, it finds it. Then we just do a quick if statement to test whether or not it's found it. So if it doesn't equal nothing, uh, because it will do either the end or, the, or this. These bits here are just to stop us from getting an infinite loop if, it, if we haven't typed our thing in. Um, it then just takes the contents of the cell and it adds all these in and let's just tidy that up a bit. So it takes the interior colour, it takes the font colour, it takes whether it's bold, italic and underlines. Now obviously you can add in and take in borders and things like that, I haven't done here, but you can check them in there if you want. Uh, and you, if you don't want it to take any of these, then just comment them out like this and that will get rid of them. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. So it just lets you go in um, and fill in your thing. So let's take oranges, type it in here, and voila, it's just going to do it. And it will do it anywhere because we've done it by selection. You can set it to a particular comment, column if you want to, but I've done it by selection. And I don't know why banana hasn't worked there. That's a bit random. Is, what have I done? Have I spelt it differently? Banana. There we go. I just spelt it weirdly. And apparently I can't undo to go back and see what I did. Um, so the only bad thing is that it doesn't get rid of the formats when you delete stuff and clear it out. Um, so one change you can do to do this is just put an else in here. And if. And then in here you can just put your whatever you want the normal one to be. So we can do interior.color equals and you could probably just put this in to be honest and then that would put it as blank in fact you could just copy all this in if you wanted and then you've just got to make sure that your next one on the format is the one that you want to have as your default one there we go anyway that's it so any questions drop them in the comments below and any suggestions or ideas for your own super hacks please let them me know in the comments below um, so thanks for watching, leave a rate if you really liked it, and I'll catch you next week.